what's going on guys welcome to my new video this is three examples of an ICT order block this is this is going to be a new series and it's going to be run by you lots you lot so I'm expecting people to leave comments on um, what they'd like to see but I have a few of these videos lined up when you're seeing this I'm actually not going to be at the charts I'm going to be away so this is good to cover my time away but yeah hopefully you guys learn something and this is this specific video is going to be about ICT order blocks both bullish and bearish we're going to be looking at three examples across different markets and different time intervals and yeah so I'm going to start off with what an order block is I'm, and I'm only going to quote what Michael himself has said Michael being ICT so as defined by him in an order block is a change in the state of delivery this is when the algorithm goes from hunting for buy stops to hunting for sell stops or from hunting for sell stops to hunting for buy stops um, <clears throat> another thing to take note of order blocks is that for an order block to be qualified it needs to be paired with a fair value gap and he also states that order blocks can be seen as bookmarks for the algorithm so when price refers back to them a reaction is anticipated because the algorithm remembers um, remembers it so I'm going to quickly just write some of that down just so we have it so we know that an order block is a change in the state of the delivery make that bigger and we're just going to keep that there so I'm going to get straight into the first example I don't want these videos to be too long and I'm going to be looking at the daily remember all of ICT's concepts are fractal meaning that what we see on this time frame is can be seen on all time frames but I'm going to be starting with the daily then we can look at the monthly and we can look at some other pairs as well just to have a look at some examples so I've marked out this as our first um, example this is a bearish order block as you can see it takes up three candles one thing to note with order blocks they don't it's not necessarily just what the last up close candle it can be three consecutive candles for example these three here would all create one order block and you can see that this is an order block and what um, we also have a fair value gap and remember I just said that for an order block to qualify it needs to have a um, fair value gap so I'm going to just quickly write that down as well, just to make sure you guys can take note of that. So it's a change in self delivery and for qualification, it must be paired with a fair value gap. And we can see that fair value gap pairing right here. So I'm going to make that orange. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom into this into this order block and we're going to have a closer look at what it entails. So let's go to the four hour. And you'll see, is that correct? I don't think that's done right. Let me quickly go back to the daily. Right, I'm going to stretch out this because we need to get the entire range. And that is what an order block pretty much is. Well, from what I've learned, it's just a range. So you can see that this is the, this all on the four hour is what makes up the order block. And you'll notice how price trades back and forth in this range, trades the top. And then as soon as this candle leaves the range, once this candle closes, this then creates the order block. So that's another thing to take note of. In order for an order block to form, you need to see the... Um, the candle that leaves it so this closing this closure here is what verifies it so we need a fair value gap which is what we get and we need a closure below the range and that's what we have here so until this candle has left this range this is not an order block so that's another thing to make sure you take note of and one thing you might want to also look into yourselves is how this fair value gap the 50 percent level is the low of the order block so I'll just show you that on a lower time frame just for you to see a bit more clearly. But if you look at the entire fair value gap, you'll see, remember this is a daily fair value gap. You'll see how the low of this order block lines up perfectly or pretty much perfectly. I'm guessing this is the low here. It lines up with the 50% level of this range, which is that daily fair value gap. So that's something to look into. So I'm going to go on to our second example. 
and we are going to be looking at um, Bitcoin actually. This is the first time I've looked at Bitcoin on this channel. I don't know if any of you are crypto fans. And we're going to go to the monthly just to show that these concepts can be applied regardless of the time frame that we're in. So I'm specifically going to be looking at a bullish order block this time. Let me get rid of this. And I'm going to be looking at this order block here. Why is this an order block? We have a fair value gap and we have a candle that closes above the two down close candles before the expansion. So it's not just this block that makes the order block, it's both of these blocks, especially considering we wick down lower than this. So this creates the range. So here's our order block. I'm going to make it, make it blue like last time. And then I'm also going to mark out the fair value gap that, remember, qualifies an order block. So th with this one, um, I am going to talk about mean threshold, which is the midpoint of an order block. So I'm, that's what I'm also going to mark out with a red line. And mean threshold is the 50% level on, of an order block. And yeah, I'll, see, I'll show you why that's important here. So mean threshold of this order block will be 18387.5, 18387.5, bear with me, <laughs> which is here, and I'm going to make that thick, and let's make it red so that we can see the mean threshold. So we're going to drop down to a low time frame. Now remember, we are on the monthly looking at this, so let's drop down to the daily and see how it looks. And you can see this is the top of the range, this is the low of the range, and look how the mean threshold is treated. So we trade below, you can see them back and forth action, back and forth, back and forth. We kiss it, we then trade back down, and then we trade through it. We then um, find a little bit of support at the top, and then we trade through that, and then we come back one, da one more time to grab stops. But this is coming into effect. Remember, this orange box is the fair value gap, which is inside the order block, and look again. This fair value gap lines up with the 50% level of the order block, which is mean threshold, just like we just saw on the Dixie Daily. Very similar in terms of the fair value gap forming at the 50% level of the order block. So this is all, you know, you can't really make this up. This is clear algorithmic, um, algorithmic price action for anyone who doesn't necessarily believe it. And what you can do as well, although IC hasn't directly taught this, you can split it into quarters and this is what I do with fair value gaps because he does say to split fair value gaps into quarters he hasn't actually said to split order blocks into quarters but I can imagine it's a very similar effect so in terms of the way price refers to these levels so I'm going to quickly do that now nine is that five nine three four so let me just put that there I do like my lines to be on point guys if this is the first time you're watching my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and check out some of my other content because you'll definitely find it useful. Right, this is 840.7. So let's move it up. 840.7. And now we have the quarter levels marked out. And now when we look at price, you can see how we, um, you know, gyrate between these levels until we leave them and then we run to different ones. So we run to the high here, find support come down and what do we touch we touch that 25% level before price uh, decides to leave that so there's another example of a order block but it's interesting when you look at the order block as just being two candles on one time frame and then you drop down and you actually see what the order block entails and again the way the fair value gaps line up with them qualifying them very interesting the way this candle traded down into the fair value gap I'm gonna um, explain that in the next video which is examples of fair value gap so make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for that one so my final example um i'm going to be looking at where was it now it was on gbp usd and we're going to be looking at a four hour bullish um bullish order block and uh, it was specifically this one i wanted to mark out because this was when we had a reversal a very big reversal back in 2022 september and this is the order block here. This, in this case, is one candle, but we're going to do the exact same thing. 
So what do we have? We have the order block. Now, remember what qualifies an order block? A fair value gap. Do we see a fair value gap in this range? Yes, we do here. Now, although this fair value gap isn't bigger like the rest, it is within the order block, so it still qualifies as an order block. So we're going to draw out the fair value gap within that. And remember our, our order blocks, we had them as blue, didn't we? So let's keep that the same. It was a light blue. And you can see how, look how price treats fair value gap. Volume stays above it, stays above it, dips into it a little bit, and it continues to respect it pretty much through the pip. Yes, we wick through it, but we can allow for that. And then what happens? We leave the range. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split the um, order block into quarters again, just so we can see the way price is gyrating. And then we'll drop down to maybe the one hour to have a better look at what's going on but yeah I hope this video has been helpful guys like I know people um, have def ICT has definitely got a lot of um, popularity over the past year I've watched him grow personally and it's incredible to see his yeah his popularity in general so I can imagine there's a lot of people that are wondering oh what are all these what are all these concepts what are all these what is this whole language is creating like but um, I hope this breaks it down nicely. All credit to him though. And I do suggest you go and do this kind of investigation yourself. Like I'm just showing you examples of his content. So we're going to drop down to the hourly now and we're going to have a better look at the way price again gyrates within the order block before leaving it. This was a very long time ago. I wonder if my data even goes back this far. Hopefully it does. There we go, beautiful. So you can see the order blocks created here. And what happened and when does the order block um when does the order block become qualified? When we have a fair value gap which was created here and when price closes above it, and that's what we have here. So as soon as this candle closes above this massive down close, this then becomes the order block. So we can anticipate this fifty percent level to get traded to. And you can see how we gyrate again over that all in and out between this. 25% level and then it trades to mean threshold when it's an order block mean threshold is the 50% level I'll say that again order blocks have a mean threshold which is 50% look how price treats it we trade down trade aggressively away kiss it good night here on this candle look at that kiss it good night look how price respects that here and then what happens we leave so yeah that's pretty much everything guys um, that was my three examples of an ICT order block I hope you learned something and um, another thing to note as well with order blocks, he teaches this in his, I think it's his core mentorship. But if you want me to, anyway, uh, let me explain. So when price trades through an order block, for example, this order block here, when we trade through on the buy side, this should then become a bullish order block. Because you can see it's a bearish order block here, three candles and we, we fall. When price trades through that, this should be acting as a bullish order block. He hasn't, I haven't actually heard a name of what he calls that. I like to call it an inverted order block because it works similar to an inversion of fair value gaps. But um, leave a comment down below if you want me to explain what I'm talking about when I say that because it is very useful when you're watching price climb. There's also proportion blocks which are ty types of order blocks. But again, leave a comment, leave a like, show me that you want more and then I'll be more than happy to make some more in-depth details. But yeah, that's everything guys. Leave a like if you found this helpful. Don't forget to join the Discord so we can share and discuss more with the community. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.